Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. If you finish early on the morning exam, does the remaining time get added to the afternoon session of the PE exam? Things have changed in 2023 and I'm here to guide you to passing the PE exam. This Pass the PE Exam video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. The PE exam has a morning session and an afternoon session, four hours each, and in between, you get a 50-minute break. Let's say you finish your morning portion of the PE exam in three hours. Do you then get five hours for the afternoon session, or is four hours the maximum time you get for each half of the exam? Although there is no official rule by NCAAS to whether or not you can use extra time in the afternoon, I have interviewed several engineers who took the PE exam recently and they all confirmed that they were allowed to use that extra time from the morning in the afternoon session. Now again, just a disclaimer, NCAAS has not said that you're allowed to do this. However, we've talked to people that have done it. Now, remember that time management is extremely important during the PE exam. In the past, the scheduled 50 minute break would start simultaneously for every single test taker. But with the computer based format or CBT, this is no longer the case. Your 50 minute break is now offered to you after you've answered half of the questions or 40 questions on your exam, regardless of how much time it took you. There's no way that you can predict how much time you'll need for the first and second halves of the exam before and after you take the break respectively. With the loft algorithm, which is the algorithm used to grade the exam, and the lack of distinction between breadth and depth portions, you cannot even estimate what your questions will look like and how difficult they'll be, much less predict how much time you're gonna to need to solve them in each portion of the exam. For example, you might rush through the morning right, only to get time for the afternoon, right, thinking you're going to get easier questions in the first or second half of the exam, and it may not be the case, right, but by rushing in the morning, you might get easy problems wrong. Now, on the other hand, if you don't manage your time properly, you may find yourself spending a lot of time in the first half risking not answering all of the questions throughout the exam, right, so you just got to be smart with time management. We have several videos on that. Now, another very important thing to note is that during the old PE exam format, you could simply go back to a question that you skipped at any time. However, in the new PE exam, you can only review a question you've already completed or skipped after reaching the end of that session that you're currently in. So you can only go back to review previous questions after answering a total of the 40 questions in that session, whether it's morning or afternoon. And that applies to both sessions. Now, this could be pretty disappointing, right? Because you may skip a question and then immediately realize, oh wait, I know the answer to that one, but you can't go back yet. So use your time wisely during the PE exam. In theory, you have six minutes per problem, 240 minutes divided by the 40 questions in each session. While this is true, you have to know that some problems are harder and some are easier. Some will take longer to solve and some will be so easy, you may be able to answer them in less than a minute. And keep in mind that there are theory questions, maybe two per subject, and they will definitely not take you six minutes to solve. The bottom line is that while I've spoken to engineers that were permitted to use leftover time from the morning portion of the exam in the afternoon portion, it is not guaranteed that it will be permitted in your testing center. So base your studying on four hours for each portion of the exam, and maybe you'll get a little bit more. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve some more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Past the PE exam videos will be published weekly, 
So please be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. This exam will change the game for you in your career if you pass it. And please ask questions and leave comments below the video. I read them all and I will respond to you. Let me know if there's a specific topic you want me to cover or a question you need answered. Pass the PE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE exam.